Well, we got a uh, cavern catastrophe, and there's also jungle bungle. Hey, jungle bungle, jungle bungle. Oh, I've never heard of it. Hmm. Can I play jungle bungle? I mean, I heard that um, it's like a first level or something. Ooh. Hmm. Very concerned. It's a real jungle bungle. Oh, jungle bungle. Ooh, is this exciting, this? Ooh, he really is famous. Well, deserve a kiss from a hotel cocoa lab. Ah, oh, thank you, Chloe. And I'm gonna fake now. So, can we join? Mm. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. <sighs> Chloe Bracket has fainted again because she's excited about the uh, hope the totem hokum level. Uh, if you want to check them out on the uh, full version, look for it on carpet sales, charity shops, or anything at all. Alright, Chloe, you can come back up now. Uh, um, well, uh, can we play Jungle Bungle now? Uh, yes, Chloe. Uh, I'll help you with the X. I'll, you can help me with the X one. Uh, I'll help you with the square and the cut. Oh, Alright then. But well, although we will skip the uh, insanity file bit, though, because we're only playing Jungle Bungle, well, that's fair enough. I think we'll do the Akuaku mask first, because that's where I normally get started. Uh, where is it? Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Ooh! Is that Dr. Vortex dressed up as Coco? He looks ridiculous! Giving him a look goody! <laughs> yeah, alright, let's just concentrate on this game now, Chloe. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, that's alright, Chloe. You didn't mean it. Uh, why is he stuck on that log? Mm, probably because of some demo version. Ooh, get him. Uh, hey? I need oop. I need oop. Well, I haven't heard of what Dr. Cortex said. Say Uli Ali Oop on the first version. Strange. I know, Chloe. That's why we're only playing the demo version. Well, very strange. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, Chloe! What do you think you've gone and done that for? Look, you killed your husband. And now look where we are. Ah, oh, we're back to the beginning. Oh, that's it. I'll have to thank you for that. But I'm going to quit the demo first. Alright then. See you in a minute, viewers. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers, because I've had enough of Twin Sanity demo for now. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute, so see you in a minute, viewers. Okay, Chloe, you can come back up now. Well, uh, do you still want to beat me up? Yes, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm going to beat you up for that. Oh, no, please don't beat me up. You don't normally beat me up. Ah! Help! 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 Call the police! I call the lifeguard! Ah! Call off my husband! Ow! <laughs> George, get off of my nose! Get off of my nose! Ow! 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 Oi! 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 There! Hey, get off of my ear! Get off of my ear! You, you little pest! Get off me! Oi! Uh, George, why is my your arm uh, under my head? Shall I take it off? Uh, yeah, sure. Get off of it then! Ah! Oh, that's it! I'll have to peck you for that! Oh no! Not this again! Ah! Ow! <laughs> Call the police! Hey! Get off me! Call the lifeguard! Ow! Call on Dr. Cortex! Ow! Ow! Oh. Get off of my ear! Get off of my ear! Get off of my ear! What's it? Uh, uh, no! Hey! Don't you dare put your. Uh, Chloe, uh, it's fine. Do me a favour. What? Could you please get your smelly nose off of my ear? Ow! You silly bugger. Hey! Silly bugger? Silly bugger? How dare you? Dare you call me a silly bugger again? Where you already are, Chloe. Just like your smelly husband's bum. Hey! Did I hear someone say, I've got a smelly husband's bum? Smelly husband's bum? Oh, how dare you! 
Right, that's it. I'll have to peck you for that. In fact, Chloe and I will peck you together. Yeah. All right, then. Let's get it. Oh, no. Not you as well, Crash. Ah! Help! 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 Call the police! Oh, call on Dr. Cortex! Uh, call on to Crash's sister! Oh, oh help me! Sorry about that, viewers. Those two have beaten me to it. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I've had enough of the first crash to insanity demo. Oh, we'll just get no headband to come up here instead. Well, seeing as Crash hates Spyro anyway, he's another, he's another rifle anyway. I've got the same with Chloe. Hey, uh, no headband, come up here please. Oh, okay, mate, I'm coming. Hello, everybody. Oh, uh, what demo will we play next then, George? Well, then, the next demo we're going to play is Spyro, A Hero's Tale. And this may be the last demo to play. Eh? The last Spyro demo? The last demo? Oh, they didn't tell me about that. Well, I know we haven't done the Spyro yet. And I know Chloe's already had a turn at Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I never did. That's why I finally let you have a go. Seems as there's no Crash or Chloe around. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What do you want me to do then? Uh, well, you see, no hair bear. All you have to do is press the X button for jump, yeah, a square button for charge or fire, yeah, and a circle button, yeah, and then you use a uh, uh, block stick. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, what sort of level do you want? Let me see. Uh, Dragon Village. Start tutorial. Mm, I don't need to know about the tutorial. But actually, I think I do. Yeah. Can you select that one for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, tutorial, then. Well, whilst we wait for the cutscenes to happen, we'll just go and have a little drink. Yeah, see you in a minute, viewers. Yeah, see you in a minute, uh, good, George. And whilst we get the uh, cutscenes ready, I'll just go and get myself some glass of water. Just to help me with my friend. Yeah, see you later, viewers. That's better. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Anyway, I'll just get no hair to sit on. Oh, Alright then, right, I'm going to help you with the dimensional buttons. <coughs> Actually, yeah, that looks like it would be fine. Alright then. Ooh, I didn't know you were good at collecting gems. Uh, that's because I never played it before. Hmm, so that's what, so that is Spyro the Dragon, isn't it, George? Uh, yes, no hair bet, I believe it is. Yeah, that's why we're playing the demo today. Ooh. I'm looking forward to this. Ooh, this is interesting. Hmm, uh, and it's a good thing there's only a demo version. And it's a good thing Crash isn't here to see that. <coughs> hmm, I wonder if Crash Bandicoot would notice. Uh, Crash, come up here please. It's your rival. Come and have a look. Oh, okay mate, I'm coming. Hello everybody. Hey, is that Spyro? The dragon? Oh no, he's next to me. Ooh. George? Uh, yes, Crash? How dare you put the next demo on? Oh, that's it. I'll have to peck you for that. Uh, the head there, you might want to look away. <clears throat> oh, alright, mate. But after I play Spyro, of course. Oh, alright, mate. See you later, mate. No head there. Oh, and I'll deal with you later. 
See you in a minute, viewers. Right then, can I come and play? Uh, yeah, sure. Ah, sorry about that, viewers. Crashes really hates his rival because you see, <clears throat> it's a mixture between uh, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro to see what was the best characters there is. Hmm, very strange, isn't it? Having Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. And they also start on uh, on the Game Boy Advance itself. Only in a Crash and Spyro Super Pack. Oh, I didn't know you thought they have it. Well, I know we haven't much done that much for a couple of years ago now. Of course, I used to play Spyro uh, until Crash Bandicoot became my favourite game. Oh, she. Ooh, this is interesting. Alright, then we'll go over to the money bags now. Uh, Alright then. I'll just let him speak to himself. Well, I am not a fan of new money, but it is money after all. So, go inside and buy a lot of it. Wow! I didn't know you were good at impersonations on money bags. Hey, eh? Who on earth is money bags? Well, you see, no matter. Money bags is like an important character that you bet he always wants some gems, even for its own game. Watch this and you'll see what I mean. Oh, alright then. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Strange. Right, can I, can I help play? Eh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Right then. Here we go. Uh, who's that then, George? Uh, that's Sparks. He's the Dragon Knight, and he's a little friend of Spyro the Dragon. A, a bit like Badgie with his little friend Mousy. Oh yeah, I think I remember you told me that from a couple of TV specials ago. Uh, yeah, that's right. Anyway, let's carry on playing now. Yeah. All right then. I don't know about Dragon Elder. Yeah, like that. Hey, who's oh, why is Spyro speaking oh, like a teenage voice or something? Uh, is it true just because they put a teenager's voice on Spyro? Uh, yes, I'm afraid it does, no hair there. Yeah, very strange. Hmm, very strange, you did it, George. Yeah, yes, no hair there. So, how about I just tell you how to destroy the dark gem instead? Yeah, do that. To destroy dark gems, you should use your horn die. Oh, a horn die? Okay, I could do that. But no, hey, you're gonna have to play it again. <coughs> oh, oh. Are you okay, no hepper? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I've hurt my head. Well, I did told you not to use horn die. So get on with your game. Such a brain. Just get on with it. Yeah, but get on with it. All right. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I'm just going to get Chloe back to beat him up when, he, when I'm finished. What did you just say to the audience? Nothing. Oh, well, that's good. Now, get on with it. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm going, I'm going. 